trying to be friendly. It's just that I'm lost, and he did sort of startle me. Lost? I'm looking for the Norden house, and I saw that one up over there. Is that the Norden house? That's my house. That's my house, and, and this is my dog. Fortunately, the boy is on loan. I was on my way to the Norden house, and I thought I'd take a shortcut through the woods. Nordens, huh? Well, you must be a relative. The Nordens never have any visitors except family. No, actually, I'm going to work for them. I'm going to take care of Rosalie Norton. Well, the Norton house is about a mile further on. I'm Alicia and Del Mar. I used to live around here. I forgot how big these woods are. I'm Elizabeth Whitfield. Yes, these woods can be a lonely place. I used to keep borders, but they didn't like the isolation. <laughs> Say, Alicia, why don't you come home with me and have some tea? Yes, these woods are so lovely. That's the reason why I stayed here when my husband died. I hope you don't mind my cornering you like this, but I have so few neighbors and, and it does get lonely. My husband always complained I talked too much, but I always complained he didn't listen enough. Actually, I was just sitting here hoping I'd be invited back. Anytime. Consider my home a safe port when the northern seas get too stormy. My, what a lovely clock. Yes, isn't it? I've had it so long, it's just like having an old friend around the house. What really did happen to all of your boarders? The woods made them nervous. The woods? Yes, they said something was out there. What do they mean? Well, um, Rosalie Norton used to play tricks on a lot of my boarders. I think she was trying to scare them off. Oh, I know it sounds as if I've got a thing about Rosalie Norton, but it's true. What sort of tricks? Oh, nothing I could ever put my finger on. But whenever anything happened, she was always there. Why would she want to cause you trouble? Rosalie regards these woods as her own private property. She's quite a little girl. Her mother spent most of her life in mental institutions. Rosalie's always been strange, worse since her mother's death. The death of parents when a child is rather young. It leaves you feeling so alone. I'm sure Rosalie and I will get along just fine. I can't blame her, really. I love these woods, too. They have changed since you were a little girl. Everything has. No, not this way of life. It's getting late. I'll call Norton, have him come pick you up. No, I'd like to walk. You said it's less than a mile through the woods. You never did say what happened to your car. Um, I was a little careless. I drove off the road. It gets dark in these woods very quickly. Stay on the path. Don't wander off into the woods. Why? Are there any dangerous animals? Why do you ask that? Oh, I saw some claw marks on the trees. 
There have been small animals killed and eaten in the woods. Jefferson thinks maybe it's wildcats. I don't know. But there is something. I hear them calling to one another at night. Stay on the path until you come to an old cemetery. The Norton House is the other side of the cemetery. Thank you for everything. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Hurry. You'd better hurry.
Lucien Delmar. I'm Joshua Norton. You're late. Oh, Mr. Norton, you startled me. I, I saw someone wandering around that old cemetery. Cramps. Hey, I sometimes spend the night in the old mausoleum. Would you like to sit down? Miss Waller recommended you. Said uh, you're real good with kids. Won't you sit down? Yes. When I lived in Osborne, we were neighbors. Then when I grew up, we moved to Westmore. How'd you find your way here through the woods? Oh, I met Mrs. Whitfield. She was kind enough to show me how to get here. I suppose she told you a lot of stuff about us. Not really. You walked here from Osborne? No, I had trouble with my car. I had to leave it. In fact, most of my things are still in it. This is my son, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. He'll drive her with you tomorrow and pick up your things. Hope you're not a nervous woman. Can't stand nervous women. Last 10 years of her life, my wife spent in and out of most of the rest homes around here. I'm sure Rosalie and I will get along just fine. We've got to get to bed. Just waiting up for you. That's a lot of work. Got to bed it early and stay at it late. I don't realize the farm is a lot more than just a pretty place to live. Don't hardly have time to take care of my children. Don't have time. Your room's the last one down the hall. Thank you, Lynn. Well, good night. We're not used to having people around, Paul and I and Rosalie. You'll have to try and understand us. He certainly surprised me. I'm Elysienne, your new friend. But if you'd like, you can call me Lise. That's my mother. She had beautiful hair. They say I have hair just like hers. So you have very lovely hair. And when I have a little girl, I hope she looks just like you. You must be very lonely. Where's your mother and father? They died years ago when I lived in Osborne. Then I moved to Westmore to live with my aunt and my uncle. Then I decided to come back. I guess I just missed Osborne. Good night.
has got into that doll. Rambler! Rambler! All this racket for a rabbit. Rambler! Rambler! I talked to your father this morning about a Halloween party, and he thought it would be a good idea. But he said there weren't too many children your own age around here. Aw, oh, they're all dumb. You just wait and see. We'll have a lot of fun. Ready, Lise? Just a minute. I want to finish cutting this grapefruit for Rosalie. Then I'll go upstairs and change. Where are you going? Len's taking me to the Johnson stables. We're going riding this morning. Hurry up. I'll meet you outside. I don't want you to go. Oh, now, Rosalie, don't be like that. I'll only be gone for a couple of hours. When I get back, we'll play anagrams. Now eat your grapefruit. I hate grapefruit! What's all that racket about? I thought she was supposed to be taking care of me. She'll be back. But I want her here. Now. Can't have everything in life you want, little girl. protects you from the fatal plague. He will shield you with his wings. They will shelter you. His faithful promises are your armor. Now you don't need to be afraid of the dark anymore, nor fear the dangers of the day, nor dread the plagues of darkness, nor disasters in the morning. For the Lord says, because he loves me, I will rest with him. I will make him great because he trusts in my name. When he calls on me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble and rest with him and honor him. I will satisfy him with a full life and give him my salvation. Amen. You're sorry. 
Elise Yan doesn't have any mother either, and she's a lot nicer than those other funny old ladies. Didn't like them, huh? Rosalie, I'll show you how to make donuts. My aunt always used to make them special for Halloween. Donuts. Sure, you want to learn how to bake stuff. When you get married, you want to be a good wife for your husband, don't you? Um, is the dinner all right? We're going up to the hill tomorrow. Yes, there's some beautiful wildflowers up there. Watch out for those little white ones, um... Oleanders, they're poison. Yeah. Once a whole bunch of them boy scouts was camping around here, and they cooked some stuff up a stew. Broke off a twig of oleander and stirred the stew. <laughs> Seems some of the sap got in the food, poisoned them all. My goodness. Were they very sick? Died. Killed every one of them. Damn little fools. <laughs> every mother's one of them croaked. <laughs> Imagine them red cheek little things for scouting and outdoors, not knowing about Oleander. Killed every one of them. <laughs> Died like flies. <laughs> Norton? Norton? That Whitfield woman, what does she want? What's all the shouting about? You having a fit or something, Mrs. Whitfield? It's just that I'm in a hurry. Have you seen Rambler today, Mr. Norton? Rambler, your dog? Yes. Have you seen him? No, but how would I see him? You keep him tied up at home all the time, don't you? He got away. Some of the folks and I are out looking for him. Well, maybe he's up there in the hills somewhere. He's not that kind of a dog to just wander away. You haven't seen him, have you? Why do you think Rosalie might have seen him? Well, talk about wonder. She was over to my place about two days ago, and it was later than this. You should stay closer to home after dark, young lady. I'll take care of my own daughter, Mrs. Whitfield. You better head on home, Mrs. Whitfield. It's getting late, and you wouldn't want to be out after dark. Just like her ma. Now she'll be all alone.
Yes. Chill in the air. Mrs. Whitfield's poor dog will freeze if he stays out tonight. I sure hope she finds him. Don't worry about Mrs. Whitfield. Anytime something happened to her, she used to come running over here to blame Ma. What did happen to your mother? She was robbed and killed. Well, they think some tramps did it. She's buried right over there in that old cemetery. Well, then I'm sorry. Your father said your mother would often wander off alone. Yeah. Ma spent a lot of time alone. She used to read books about the mind. She said... She said the mind was a secret world. A place nobody had explored yet. And Rosalie's like her mother, isn't she? I've seen so much inside her. What was that? Some animals. In the woods here. No one's ever seen them. But when they hear that noise... They locked their doors and stay inside at night.
my friends with me tonight, Mrs. Whitfield. No. They want to meet you. You go away, Rosalie. Go away and leave me alone. Mr. Norton, may I talk to you a moment? It's about Rosalie. Late last night, I looked out my window and I saw her going into the cemetery. She likes to visit her ma's grave. At night? She could go in the daytime. It's not only dangerous, it's downright morbid. You told me there were tramps living around the cemetery. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'll speak to her for all the good that'll do. Drawing your teddy bear? Uh-huh. That's very good, Rosalie. I draw him a lot. I draw all my friends. I'll draw you sometime. I'd like that. Rosalie, what other friends do you draw? Oh, just friends I meet. In the cemetery? 
guess I'll go get breakfast. These drawings of your friends, I'd like to see them. Oh, they're not so good. I'd like to see them anyway. Maybe, sometime. They're back in my room someplace. I don't think I'd like your friends very much. Not if you have to meet them at night. That is why you go into the cemetery at night, isn't it? To meet these people, your friends? No, I go to visit my mother. Darling, your mother isn't there. She's gone. Gone? Gone where? Where did you get that? Len bought it for me. Certainly is weird looking. I love it. You enjoying your party? Yeah, it's kind of fun. Where are all the other children? Outside. We're going to play one more game that Daddy's going to take them home. Don't stay out too late. Why? I'm not afraid of the dark.
All right, who's in here? Rosalie, stop it! Dining room, the jack-o'-lantern. Dining room light didn't work, and the jack-o'-lantern frightened me. Probably a fuse. Look, I'll take a look in the cellar. Hey, look what I've got. Some of Tom Harkin's homemade hard cider. I could sure use some of that. Go easy. Have some over at Tom's. It's really hard. Look, I'll check the fuse. told you to stay out of that cemetery at night. I guess maybe they will just have to lock you up in your room after dark. No, I want to be with them. They need me. They? Who's they? All right. That settles it. You'll be locked in your room after dark. No! I'm not going to worry about you night after night the way I did with your mother. You shut up. 
Oh, now, Rosalie. You killed my mother. Now, you stop that, Rosalie. And Alicia thinks she's my mother. Well, she isn't. I want to know who you're meeting in the cemetery. Answer me. I don't have to tell you anything. Who is in the cemetery? You'll find out. They're going to come and hurt you both. Hurt you bad. Rosalie, come back here. No, I don't listen to you anymore, old man. you here after what I told you today? Come on, let's get out of here. I can't. My friends are expecting me. What friends? I have friends. They like me. Why do they like you so much? Why do they like you so much? afraid of them, but I'm not. I like them. They do favors for me. What kind of favors? You'll find out.
way here. Go find out if Rosalie's at the house. But Lynn, can I... Just go. I'll be there.
on. I gotta get out of here. Damn it. Come on, baby. Let's go, let's go.
going to be okay. Give me the hammer. We both know. I've known for a long time. These creatures are Rosalie's friends. What happened tonight happened because of Rosalie. Found a gun. Yeah. 